Hi there! Today we're going to be painting with watercolor, so let's take a look at the supplies you'll need to paint with us today. First, you're going to need some paper, whether you have line paper, white paper, construction paper, anything you've got to paint on will work. Next, you'll need a paintbrush. I find that when you're working with watercolor, if you have one that's softer to hold the paint and hold the water, that will work better than, than this style, which is a bit rigid. If this is all you've got, that's okay. But if you've got one that's a little more flexible, that will work a little better. Next, you'll need some water. Water is so important because without it, the paint is dry and you won't see it show up on your paper. The next step is our watercolors. So let's move our paper to the side. And I'm going to show you a few different options for paint. So my kids have had this watercolor set before. So it's basic, it's got some sparkles, it's clearly been very well used. So that's one example. Next, we got this set from the dollar store. It has a lot of options in it for different colors. You might have something that looks like that. And this one here is my set. It's got a lot of color choices as well. I've used it in a couple other videos. And the main difference between the junior set, the dollar store set, or the art store set is just how much color is going to show up on your page, but they will all work. And I'd love to show you a little bit from all of them today. So we've just set those to the side and let's make sure we've got everything we need before we get started. You've got your paper, you've got some water, you've got some brushes or one brush, and you've got your paint. So I might be kind of hard to see all of the paints. I've pushed them to the side there, but let me give you the basic steps. So here we go. Without water on the brush, I can try to get some paint, but if it's dry, there's no color that's showing up. The main thing I say to my kids, and I want to say to you today, is you have to dip the brush in the water. You want to bring the brush over to your color and spend more time on the color than you think you need to. Pick up that paint. And there's your color. If you go back without dipping in the water, you might have a darker, more concentrated color. It might dry a little quicker. And if you go into your water and you add more water to the paint, you've now activated the color in the paint. And it might go on a little more smooth. See that? Now let's try the different kinds of sets so you can see how they look. One supply that is optional is your paper towel. Having a paper towel or any kind of towel handy just allows you to dry off your brush in between colors. Let's go to the Junior Sparkle set and I'll show you how that one looks. Let's do green as well. So water on the brush, brush to the paint, and keep the brush on your paint longer than you think you need to. Maybe longer than you'd spend if you were painting with a regular set of paint that wasn't watercolor. So we move it around, activate the paint, and let's see. That is a cool green and you can see a lot of sparkle in it. So without going back in the water, go back to the paint and we're going to see 
the way the color shows up this time. Not quite as wet, but still looking really good. Now if we get a little more water on the brush, move that around, it's definitely easier to move the brush around. Maybe a little bit lighter, but so far I'm really liking the way all, all of these paints look. Now we can try my art set here from a craft store. So we're just going to wash off the old color, dab it off, and we'll do the green. Dip the brush in the water, water on the paint, and keep the brush there a little bit longer than you think. Now let's go back to the paint without getting new water. It's feeling a little thicker. And we'll go right here. Now on this set, there's a lot more color in my set. Look at that. You can see how, how much darker the color is here compared to that one. Now let's go into the water move the water around on that and it's looking wet but still a lot of color there one last thing i'd like to try is showing you how watercolor works with a more rigid bristled brush so let's dip that in the water and we'll try a darker green out of my paint set here so we're gonna move the paint around with the water and the brush and we're gonna paint. So the biggest thing I would say is that this type of brush just doesn't hold the water the same way. When I'm moving the brush around, the water's kind of falling off the bristles. It's a little harder to paint, but you know what, it, it is working. Let's go in the water. Overall, I would say if you have a brush that's a little more flexible, that will be what you want to use for your watercolor. But if this is what you've got, I think it looks great too. So I hope you enjoyed this basics watercolor video of just how to get started. And follow along because next I'm going to be doing a paint along with me video where we can learn about color mixing and have some fun with the colors and with what we just learned on how to get started. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye!